you're on. This is Paul Kelman here with MMA Sucker. We're interviewing Jerry Gianco. First of all, Jerry, I'd like to thank you very much for that wonderful show for which we had on Saturday night. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen in Vancouver. You know, we just keep hoping to get better and better each time. Okay, so why don't you let our viewers know a little about you and the important part for what you take in our city as far as promotions. Well, I've been doing fights now for almost 30 years. Uh, I absolutely love it. I'm a fighter with son. I'll be fighting coming up in the next three months. Mm -hmm. uh, I figure if somebody else if I would require somebody to do it, I would be able to do it myself too. To have truly their respect. I understand that. Now, apparently I heard that you used to own a gym on Commercial Drive, is that correct? Yes. Uh, Can you tell me a little about that? Well, we had this building. It was actually fantastic. It was built in the 50s, but uh, the guys tore it down. Um, so we had just a, a short lease on the building. And we've been kind of looking for a place ever since. We had a gym in Richmond for a while, but, and it was the most fantastic gym in Canada. But I just couldn't get anybody to cross that bridge of water. Right, right, right. Do you find that location is uh, very important for someone like yourself when you're setting up a, a vehicle such as running a gym? Uh, gym and also the fights. Uh, both of them are really important. Uh, we used to do a lot of stuff in Coverdale. Coverdale worked for us because it's really the center of the city. You know, people used to think Burnaby was the center of the city. It isn't anymore. You know, Surrey Central is the city, uh, the city center. So Surrey Central, you're saying, is the center? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, you all the way up to Abbotsford, uh, uh, actually, the best location in the city now is that new arena. Because once they built that bridge over to Maple Ridge, they just shrunk the whole thing and it starts to Now, speaking of uh, locations and stuff like that, Recently, you at the last tournament for which you've just promoted, you had a mixture of different events going on there, from ranging from boxing to MMA style, martial arts. How did you get involved in that? Well, you know, I find if you give the people a variety, um, it keeps the show interesting. Sometimes if you do all mixed martial arts, you get a couple of fights that are on the ground, nobody's doing much, and it just bores people to, uh, to act. If you got to stay, I mean, people still want to see guys play. Two guys standing up and pounding and cutting each other. So I uh, give them a variety, and that was everybody's happy. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the the, the way that which the MMA is promoting itself right now, or do you think that boxing is suffering? And coming from a boxing background, how did you wind up doing MMA stuff? Well, I come from a, from a wrestling background originally, so. Uh, it was an easy transition. I like the MMA. Closest thing to strap I like the MMA. And I actually, I had about 130 fights in my game. You had about 130 fights, you said? 100 street fights. 100 street fights? Yes. Can you explain that? Yeah, just, well, you know, in the, in the 60s and early 70s, you couldn't walk into somebody else's territory without somebody picking a fight like that. Was that your case? It was like sport fighting. Yeah, it, it was. You know, then I got killed, I got stabbed. Hey, excuse me. Buddy, bring that paper back. It's mine. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I guess you didn't know who you were, Jerry. <laughs> Go on. Not a problem. It would have been fun. never seen it before. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> oh, actually, we're keeping this in, Jerry. That's some good stuff. You can't buy that. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, um, again, it was a rough city in the 50s and 60s, and even going into the 70s. There, there were gangs of guys in every part of the city, but you were on a walk, you fought one guy against one guy. If ten guys came on you, one guy would step out of the pile. And, you know, if you won, you won, you lost, you lost, but. You know, there was never ever five guys jumping on one. Mm -hmm. it, was just it was interesting that you mentioned the word gang. I, what I did notice at the last fight, so, which I found very, very strange and uncomfortable at one period on Saturday, was when I saw the gang squad come in there to the fights. Is that a normal occurrence that happens? Uh, they come to all the fights now, but if you notice, they didn't stay very good. No, they didn't. There, was no, there was no gangsters there. Okay. You know, they came in, walked around, everything was fine. Everything was well organized as far as they were concerned. They were happy with the crowd, the way everything was running. They left. 
As far as MMA Sucker is concerned, you run a real tight ship. How is it that you're able to do such a good thing like that? And you're bringing something that the city definitely wants right now. We need this sort of stuff. What it is to have a really good crew. A couple of people have been with me for years. Uh, a couple of new ones that have jumped on board. It's all junk. And they're the ones that actually make me care. Well, you look fantastic. I can't take all the credit. I'd love to, but... Any shout-outs? Um, not really, you know, when Josh shots who expected him to win, and he lost, and he even said he just, his head wasn't in the fight. That's a good point. Now, speaking of head not in the fight, how do you feel with the UFC coming here in June? Well, it's going to open up a whole new market, and I think that's great for the city. Hopefully everything goes well, and the city says, oh, no, that sounds so bad. Yeah, okay, we'll let it go. There's a lot of council members right now that just don't like it, and they're going to do everything they can to try and destroy this whole thing. But if nothing happens, and it turns out to be a fantastic event, they can't say anything about it, and we'll be allowed to do it. So what is the difference in light system between your event, which is basically the same show as a, a lower end version of the UFC than the UFC? Well, what we do is we run as, a, as an amateur, okay. and we don't have as many strict requirements as they do. The UFC probably well, we spent a lot more hours than extra costs just for different medicals and all sorts of other things. Where do you find yourself five years from now? I'm hopefully still doing this, but hopefully I'll be doing this internationally. You know, I speak Italian. I okay. can do some shows in Rome, probably in Paris, London. Uh, you know, cities like Tokyo, you just couldn't walk in that city. But those other European cities, they seem to be quite are these amateur shows or no, professional? Like you professional? And I would always like to do a mixture of boxing and kickboxing. I don't like just MMA. Do you feel that that's a better way of promoting yourself, or? You know what? What it is is for me, it's all about the fans. You know, my, my patrons, the most important thing. If they're not happy, they're not coming down. We have people that have been here since the mid '80s, and I just bend over backwards to make sure that they're. What they want is what I give them. And you seem to give it well. One last question before we leave here. Is there any advice that you would give the City of Vancouver Council members in voting as far as having the UFC coming here? Well, you know, right now, you know, we're a, we're a huge metropolitan city. You know, we've got to have a variety of things. It isn't all about the uh, upper end. Like at one time, the East End had a real big voting power in the city. And they've lost it over the last 20 years. But, you know, it wouldn't take much to rally some troops, I guess. And if you have to, let's change some of these guys. You know, it's, it's got to be a city for everybody. One last thing. When is your next promotion? Because I've got to have some tickets for that. Yes, yeah, it's a fantastic job. That's going to be July 17th. July 17th? I'm going to have my last fight. I'm going to fight on it. I'm going to fight Alan Day for my thing. He fought Saturday night. Yes. He actually won that fight. He had a spectacular win. And at the end of the fight, I challenged him. He accepted. So, we will go. So, it's on. It's on. All right. This is MMA Sucker with. Jerry Gianco, one of the best promoters in the city of Vancouver. It was nice talking to you, Jerry. Thank you very much.